again, gamblers, cardists, and magicians. It's time for another playing card deck unboxing and review video. Today, I've got a very special deck of cards. Actually, it's three decks of cards. These are going to be from Third Way Industries, and it will be their Delirium, The Lost Decks. These are from a campaign back in 2014 that was originally supposed to be three decks, but they only printed one. Uh, they printed the Delirium Prism deck, and the other two decks were going to be stretch goals, but they didn't reach those. So four years later, here we are, and we've got the Lost Decks. Uh, without any further delay, let's get into this package. Okay, we've got some more bubble wrap and the three decks in here. Nicely packaged. Okay, everybody, these are the Delirium decks of cards. These two decks will have the same cards inside, but this is a collector's edition. First, we have the Delirium Insomnia deck. Then we have the Delirium Ascension deck, and finally the Delirium Absolute deck. All three of these decks are printed by USPCC on premium stock, and the designs are inspired by classic French playing cards. So that explains some of the interesting designs that we have on these cards. The Insomnia and the Ascension decks were the original decks that were going to be uh, released in 2014 as stretch goals, but they um, didn't make it, so these are their lost decks. And the Absolute deck is a collector's edition deck. Okay, let's start with the Delirium Insomnia deck. This deck of cards was one of the original decks that was going to be a stretch goal for their 2014 campaign on Kickstarter. Uh, but they didn't reach the stretch goals, so uh, they didn't print them until four years later, which is now 2018. And they redesigned this deck, uh, gave it some new colors and improved a lot of the designs and uh, then they released all three of these decks together as the Lost Decks series. Let's get into this deck of cards and see what this one is all about. All right, we have a standard stock here for the tuck case with uh, some semi-gloss printing. On the front, we've got Delirium Insomnia with the characters from the Delirium series. On the side, it says Delirium, and on the opposite side, it says the same thing. On the bottom, we've got the ad copy for Third Way Industries and United States Playing Card Company. And on the top, we have Insomnia with some uh, design implements there. And on the back of the tuck box, we have the characters from the Delirium Realm. The Insomnia deck is from a realm without sunlight, so it's always dark there. And the inhabitants of this realm are cursed and they can't sleep. And because of the darkness and sleep deprivation, they are crazy, angry, and violent. And they're always fighting each other. The Delirium series has a really fun story behind it, and you can read more about that in the link that's in the description below. Let's open this deck up and take a look inside. On the tuck flap, we've got a sun type character and a little blood drop there. No printing on the inside of this tuck box or on the small flaps. Cards out of the box, we are greeted by a rather ominous looking little crazy joker. And he is paired up with a female joker who looks angry and tired at the same time. Colors are in uh, purple and red and yellows. Very nice color choices on this and a lot of fun. The Ace of Spades in the Insomnia deck features the Supreme Delirium God. He's got sun rays behind him. And if we look closely also, we will notice that this deck is embossed, which is awesome because it makes the deck glide wonderfully. 
Moving down through the deck, we've got a circle design with looks like a spear going through the middle and a line and circle on either side, making this a two-way design. We have the Jack of Spades, Angry Queen of Spades, and an Angry King of Spades. Ace of Diamonds is an exploded large diamond with a unique design to it with some sun rays behind it. Unfortunately for the inhabitants of the Insomnia Realm, they don't get to sleep. On the diamonds we can see a yellow circular design in the background with what looks like to be a axe as well. We'll get in close to that. Here we have the Jack of Diamonds, Angry Queen of Diamonds, and an Angry King of Diamonds. Oh, he's got a blood drop coming off of his axe there. The King of Clubs, Angry Tired Queen of Clubs, and a Crazy Jack of Clubs. The clubs feature, uh, again, the circular design, this time with some swords in the background. The ace of clubs is nice and large with some rays coming out from behind it. Nice unique design there. Suicide king of hearts, blood drop there off of the heart. Angry crazy queen of hearts and an angry jack of hearts. And the hearts have a background of yellow again, with circles with another axe type design. And we'll notice that some of the hearts have a blood drop dripping off of them. As does the ace of hearts. Nice exploded large ace with rays coming out from the back. At the end of the deck, we get two special art cards. These can be used as jokers if you want. Let's take a look at these designs a little closer. Let's take a look at the back design. On the back, we've got some of the angry characters from the Insomnia Realm on a purple background. Let's take a look at these in a fan looks nice in a fan. The borders are thin enough to show some of the design on it. Let's take a look at the faces in a fan. The pips are of a nice size so that they do show up um, if you do a really nice fan. They're not too small, not too large, but they will show up. Let's try a spring right out of the box. Oh, these spring rather nicely. I really like how they're handling. Very nice. I like, I like how they handle. Uh, the edges of these cards are also uh, nice and smooth. Not much polishing need, will need to be done on these. Uh, just a touch rough, but not too bad, actually. Let's see how these cards fare. Really good. These cards will look really nice in a fan, a uh, single-handed fan. One way and on the faces as well. So that is the Delirium Insomnia deck. The first in the three of these decks that we'll be taking a look at in the Delirium Lost Decks series. You can get them at Third Way Industries website at thirdway.it. We'll leave a link down in the bottom. Stay tuned for part two of the Delirium Lost Deck series. We'll be reviewing the Delirium Ascension deck next. Thanks a lot for watching, everyone. See you at the next review. Bye-bye.